How many of you like to watch what you eat? <laughs> and how many of you truly, honestly believe that you are aware of what you are putting into your body? The fact of the matter is, the majority of our population has absolutely no idea that they are ingesting chemicals that could potentially be detrimental to their health. Now we all know that today, farmers use pesticides, herbicides, insecticides in an effort to maximize their profit and minimize their loss. But a relatively new and very much unknown practice is being implemented into the production of the food we see on our shelves today. This phenomena is called GMOs or genetically modified organisms. So what exactly is a GMO? With the introduction of recombinant DNA in 1973, scientists learned how to move genes from one place to another within the genome or from one organism to another. Then genetic engineering emerged, which is the transferring of a specific trait to from one organism to a completely different plant or animal in an effort to improve it. So the scientist first identifies the gene that they want to use. They find where it is located, isolate it, extract it, and then implement it into a new organism in order to improve it. About 200 million acres of farmland worldwide today are used to grow genetically modified crops such as corn, soybeans, cotton, and canola. The majority of these crops are engineered to resist pesticides and herbicides so that they can withstand being sprayed with weed killer while the rest of the plants in the field die. For example, the majority of soybeans are engineered to resist the weed killer Roundup Ready. Therefore, consumers who buy and ingest these soybeans or soybean products are being exposed to the weed killer because the soybeans were sprayed with it and not affected. But in today's day and age, genetic engineering is more used on our food in an effort to create plumper tomatoes or brighter fruits or vitamin enriched rice. Sounds wonderful, right? Wrong. The very, very scary fact is that 80% of all processed foods on American shelves contain genetically modified ingredients. Despite the claim that genetic engineering is meant to increase the uh, nutritional quality of food, scientists have found that a genetically modified plant has less nutritional quality than its traditional counterpart, which begs the question, what are we eating? In addition, the end, uh, by changing the molecular structure of a fruit or a vegetable, we are creating new results such as new toxins, new diseases, and new allergens. For example, if you were to take a gene from a nut, say, and then inject that gene into a crop such as corn, this may cause allerg an allergic reaction to nuts with absolutely no indication as to why. Also, it is very hard to predict how these GMOs will mutate over time and what they are doing and will be doing to our soil resources. That is to say, something that is supposed to be beneficial is actually harming our environment, polluting our airways, and depleting our natural resources. The most upsetting part about all of this is that the FDA does not require any scientific testing or any labeling of genetically modified foods. Your food could be killing you and you have absolutely no idea. The entire concept of GMOs is in fact ingenious and could potentially solve the issue of world hunger. But at this point in time, the risks and hazards far outweigh the benefits of genetic engineering. So how many of you are beginning to think that you may need to reassess your eating habits? <laughs> Just remember, the next time you reach for that apple, ask yourself, is it really an apple? Thank you.